Now, I really didn't think I was going to have to do this video because I assumed the world had moved on. I have faith in humanity. I don't know why. It's misplaced faith. You just go on the internet, go on social media, turn on the TV and realise it's full of backward, uneducated morons. So the reason I'm doing this video and why I'm so rattled is because a while ago I stormed the House of Parliament in the nicest possible way with my amazing sponsor Grenade and we demanded that gyms stay open during lockdown. Now the reason we advocated this and why I'm so behind it is health is wealth, right? And under health, it's not just about going and doing bicep curls, there are many facets of being healthy. Your mental health, your cardiovascular health, your physical health, whatever it might be that is under that bracket of health, it's important. Gyms are incredibly clean places. Everyone is you know, using bacterial hand stuff when they come in the door. Everybody cleans down their equipment. It's fine. It would have helped people because there is a huge obesity crisis in the world at the moment, right? And on the news, you will see people talk about COVID deaths and they'll say, oh my God, so-and-so died with no underlying health issues. And then you find out they look like a minibus with a face, that they were hugely obese. That is an underlying health issue. Now I know, I know we're in a world at the moment where we are seem to be celebrating extremes. If you are morbidly obese, let's put your picture on a magazine and celebrate it under something called body image. I'm so happy you're happy with how you look and nobody should tell you you should look different, but you're unhealthy and you won't change my mind. Don't tell me they're not, don't argue with me, they're not healthy. Do you know why I know? Because they're fucking obese. There's the other end of the spectrum, people with eating disorders, super skinny, size zero models, they are not healthy. Being with a six pack all year round and eating with a restricted diet is not healthy either. There are lots of different extremes. So that's why I wanted the gym to stay open. I also did an advert for McDonald's. Right? And it was a funny tongue in cheek advert about skipping the queues and it went down really well. It was probably the most watched video I've done this year. Thousands of positive comments. Everybody saw it as a tongue in cheek thing. And most people on my pages seem to be relatively sensible because I've got a zero tolerance threshold for morons, for nasty people uh, and everything else. So I did this campaign. Subsequently, people have gone, fucking hell, you mug. How can you promote McDonald's and health? Let me fucking explain why I can and why we've got to stop demonizing food. Sharon comes in to the office and says, do you know what? I've given up chocolate for the last three months and I've lost half a stone. Fucking hell, Sharon. Have you discovered the truth? Is chocolate bad for you? Whoa, naughty fucking chocolate. Or perhaps has she cut out something that was calorie dense, meaning she's in a calorie deficit, i.e. eating less calories and has lost weight. It's because she's in a calorie deficit, not because chocolate's waiting in the wings to fuck you. Terry comes over and goes, I've given up alcohol for dry January. It's amazing. I've lost 10 kilos. I can see my feet. Now, was it alcohol fucking him up? Or was it perhaps he was in a calorie surplus drinking alcohol? Now he's cut it out, he's in a deficit. Fuck me, he's lost weight. So if chocolate doesn't make you fat and alcohol doesn't make you fat, does McDonald's make you fat? Or perhaps does overeating anything fucking make you fat? I think it's overeating. And let me explain to you, right, about the whole thing about overeating and going out there and having no balance. I. I'm a former sportsman, now I am whatever the fuck I am, I don't even know. Every time I sit down and do an interview with my wife, uh, with a journalist, they always ask coupley stuff, you know, you're having babies, you're doing this, oh, you're both fitness freaks. You know, do you find like you have balance? <laughs> What's your favorite cheat meal? I always go back and go, actually, I've got balance. I'll tell you why I've got fucking balance, because sometimes I train, sometimes I enjoy my life. Sometimes I sit in the middle and do both at the same time. And sometimes I like to relax. Sometimes I like to eat fast food. I love McDonald's. I fucking love pizza. But I also understand that if I eat well 99% of the time and I understand what I'm putting into my body and I understand calories, that actually I'm free to do what I like. And let me explain to you another example, right? Do you remember the Krispy Kreme diet that was going around years ago? People were going, God, you can lose weight eating Krispy Kremes? Fuck off, Terry. I'm in. I'm in. Put the alcohol bottle down. I'm in for the for the, the uh, Krispy Kreme diet. If John is eating 3,000 calories of X and he starts eating 2,000 calories of Krispy Kremes and he loses weight, does it mean that Krispy Kremes are fucking a miracle weight loss food and that you can just eat donuts all day? No, he's eating 1,000 calories less. You morons, right? And you need to understand that eating Krispy Kremes every day, the micronutrient content, would be bullshit. You'd be very ill, skinny, but very ill. 
and it's not a good idea. That is why balance is there. And don't say eating um, healthily is expensive. It's fucking not. How do you think the body coach has been so successful? Midget trees, broccoli, bit of rice, boom, wow, pow, chili, chicken in a pan. He can put together a fucking meal in 15 seconds, hence the lean in 15, that costs fuck all and is healthy. That's his recipe for success. Suddenly, people's eyes are open going, oh my God, I didn't realise you could eat so healthy. Cooking for yourself, fuck me, gives you a load of control over your diet. Yes, that's absolutely the fucking case. So when you go and have a McDonald's and you freak out about it, don't fucking worry. If you eat healthy and understand what you're putting into your body, you'll be absolutely fine. So my wife and I have the balance because we dip into both worlds. If you don't train, if you've never got off your ass, if you are a couch potato, then you are fucking on one end of the extreme. If you train like a madman doing three sessions a day, you don't have any balance. There are extremes. It is possible to have a happy life sitting in the middle. So that is why I was happy to do the McDonald's advert because Big Macs don't make you fucking fat. Eating too many of them make you fucking fat. And also understand that when you go into a McDonald's, you know exactly what you're getting on the t in the tin. So when you order a Big Mac, you know it's 500 calories. When you order a large fries, you know it's 550 calories or a quarter pound is 550. You know what you're gonna get, right? So if you're tracking and understand that, you can, you can put it in and go, oh, do you know what? I'm gonna give up five ca 500 calories today for this meal, but the rest of my meals and everything else in the week are tight. You could even go and have a McDonald's a week and it wouldn't be a fucking problem if you understand your calories and understand your body. Where people go wrong is a lack of education, where people go, do you know what? I'm too lazy to do anything about it. So I'm gonna stop at a McDonald's the whole time. I'm gonna overeat it. Overeating anything makes you fat. Nothing in the world fucks you up within reason. Don't start suggesting mad off piece things. Everything in moderation is fine. So try to understand it. And I'm so annoyed that I have to explain it. And the very fact that anyone actually gives a fucking shit. And I'm so rattled, right? I'm on a rig transformation at the moment. I am the mayor of Rig C. I'm fit and I eat McDonald's every fucking now and then. If you don't like McDonald's, you're weird. Genuinely weird. I don't know anyone who doesn't like a McDonald's. I know other brands are available, but I like it. And I'm so fucked off, I'm actually going to eat a Big Mac now, and I'm gonna fucking hit it hard again tomorrow, and it's not even gonna to touch the sides, and I won't be worried about it. So please, when you comment bullshit and demonize foods, you're a moron. Stop doing it, stop demonizing people, stop advocating unhealthy practices, stop following people online, advocating ketones and fucking insulin jabs and fucking diarrhea tea that's gonna make you shit your life away. Think sensibly, follow reputable people, understand how to eat. Let's not go onto the Daily Mail online and think that you know red wine's good for you, red wine's bad for you, put bands on, they're better than weights, whatever nonsense is being spouted. Let's think sensibly, let's eat properly, let's educate our children, and let's fucking relax. And if you want a McDonald's, fuck's sake, have one.